So my name is uh, Daniel Berkowitz. I'm a professor of economics at the University of Pittsburgh, Department of Economics, and uh, Gerard Roland and I are the co-editors of the Journal of Comparative Economics. We've this is our third year that we've been doing it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like to ask you sort of a general question about the journal, um, sort of to see where where the journal was a couple of years ago and how you're developing it. Uh, Right now, can you sort of explain what your thoughts and ideas are about this, and what, what you plan to do as well? Right. So, well, so I go back a little more than a few years ago, but the journal started uh, under uh, Michael Montius several decades ago, when, when comparative systems was about comparing socialism versus capitalism, and then it evolved to really think about the emergence of socialism during transition under various uh, editors, uh, Joe Breda and John Bonin. Um, and then um, when uh, Gerard and I were taking it over, um, we, were, we were thinking about a new set of comparisons, um, which is to really, well, you, of course you want to, these older comparisons are still interesting, socialism versus capitalism, and uh, the evolution of socialism into markets, but there's this new comparison really thinking about institutions within capitalist economies or within places like uh, you know, China um, and how, how exactly do they, do they work, um, what are the differences between these institutions, uh, what are their implications for economic performance and really to think about how you can use things like history and initial conditions to back out um, these institutions. So that, that's, that's where the, the journal is now. We're, we're influenced by a lot of this recent work um, on common law versus civil law or the role of, uh, of settlers who settled um, countries and how that's had persistent influences on institutions. And um, a lot of that work's done at a, at a country level um, and we're Comparativists who have good area studies expertise can do a lot of that work within countries. Do we have studies of institutions like judges um, within India, within Russia? Um, so, okay. yeah. sounds like some very uh, interdisciplinary, or cross-disciplinary, if you will, uh, work that you're you're doing nowadays. Yeah. So so uh, so while Gerard and I are economists, we uh, we like. To, uh, to invite political scientists, legal scholars, um, and, and, and people from other fields as well, too. So, yeah, it's very interdisciplinary. And that's, that's a, sort of the way for the future, I suppose. I, I think so. Um, so thinking about what makes courts work or what makes financial markets work, uh, you need a, you, you, you requires a lot of tools, right, and a lot of knowledge of politics and of history and of the nitty-gritty of, of, these, of these institutions. So, uh, of course, economic tools are pretty nice, right? That, there's, there's ability, that ability to, to uh, generate sharp hypotheses with models and that ability to test them with the, the statistical methods we have are, are pretty nice, but it's not enough. Yeah.